Hello everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to my channel. So there is another unboxing video for you guys and I'm so excited because every time this type of video for me feels like a little holiday. So I have two purchases, one at Sephora and another at Shoppers Drug Mart Beauty Boutique. I also have a lot of PR packages as well as in one box I put my drugstore purchases. So there is a lot of new and also cool makeup over here and I'll be starting my unboxing with these two little bags that I just purchased today. So first let's start with this bag from Beauty Boutique at Chopper's Drug Mart. So there was one product that I wanted to buy for a very long time but all time it is sold out at Sephora. So when I went today I was actually on my way to Sephora, I stopped by because I remember that I have this brand over here at Beauty Boutique and for my luck the product that I wanted to get was in stock. So what I got is Too Faced Hanover Peel of Balm. So this is ultra hydrating and nourishing lip treatment. It is infused with mineral rich stardust. I don't know how they got stardust, but I'm very intrigued. So I heard a lot of great things about this lip balm. So I wanted to get it for a very long time. So we have six milliliters over here. It is conditioning and also soothing. So this is how the packaging looks like. You can see it's super cute and so adorable. I actually obsessed with Too Faced products and also the beautiful and adorable packaging. So you can see that the color of this lip treatment is kind of like light pink. So let's open it up. And here we have a doe food applicator so it will be very easy to apply to my lips. I can see that the formula of it is creamy. Oh my god, it smells amazing. It's like something sweet and I also can smell coconut in it. It just smells incredible. So I cannot wait to test it out and try it out. I will keep you guys updated if I like it or not. But seriously, I heard so many great and amazing things about this pillow balm that I'm so excited right now that I have it in my collection. So now let's talk about my purchase at Sephora. And actually today I was going to the store to get new Huda Beauty Haze Obsessions palette. But when I was in the store and was looking at them, they were not as appealing and not as exciting as other makeup products in a store. And actually when I was looking at them, I saw that a lot of shades in those palettes kind of like remind me of other palettes that I already have from Huda Beauty in my collection. And also if you recently saw my Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes collection, you saw that I talked about mini obsessions palette, how they're made in China, not in Italy as her bigger eyeshadow palettes. And I also feel like we may see a bigger shadow palette from Huda Beauty really soon. So I really want to get that one. And also holiday season is approaching and brands became releasing their holiday collections. And they are so adorable and beautiful. I already saw a sneak peek of Too Faced holiday collection. And I just feel like I want to get it so badly. As well as Too Faced pumpkin spice eyeshadow palette. I feel like that one is also so unique and nothing like I have in my collection. So because of all this reason, I decided not to get Huda Beauty Haze Obsessions collection and I decided to get instead another eyeshadow palette that I wanted to get for some quiet time now, but it was sold out at Sephora. So it's finally was back in stock. So it was available in store and I was so happy and excited to get it. And the palette that I got at Sephora is by Too Faced and it is born this way the neutral nudes complexion inspired eyeshadow palette and just look at the stunning and sleek packaging. So this palette actually was inspired by Born This Way foundation and you can see all of the shades over here. Who doesn't like a beautiful neutral eyeshadow palette? And if you saw my recent video, my Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette collection, how I was talking about the new nude palette, I was feeling like that was actually lacking those brown and neutral shades. So this palette actually I feel like have it all. And what I also like is this palette is also made in Italy. And I also like how Too Faced have this How to Glamour guide. So this is a guide with different makeup looks that you can achieve using this palette. So you can see you have a photo of look over here. And also on this side we have description how to achieve this look. And I just love how it says the only nudes you will ever need. So over here we have two more looks. And just look how beautiful they are. By the way, I also like how the skin tone is different 
and we see looks that will be beautiful on more lighter skin tones and also on more darker skin tones. So let's open up the palette. Again, the packaging is very beautiful, sleek and luxurious. I also really like that it's not really heavy on my hand. So if you're doing your makeup and you're holding your palette to look in the mirror, it will be again easy kind of like to hold it in your arm. So let's open up this beauty and oh my god. When I saw this palette at Sephora in person next to those Haze Obsessions palette, there was even nothing to compare. I don't want to bash with the Beauty Eyeshadow palettes, but seriously, I feel like this was way more attractive and way more beautiful. And you can see just how stunning all of the shadows look like. So we have more lighter eyeshadows over here as it turns into more like a pinky eyeshadows and also to the more darker eyeshadows. I also like how we have some more cool tones and also more like warm tones eyeshadows over here and how we have matte and also shimmery eyeshadow. And I also noticed that the matte eyeshadow pants are bigger than the shimmery eyeshadows. So I really like all of the shades. I think this palette is absolutely beautiful. And by the way, if you want to see swatches, my review and also makeup tutorial using this palette, let me know in the comments down below because I feel so inspired just looking at this palette and I want just to dive in and create something beautiful. So now let's open a couple of PR packages and after that I will also open all of my drugstore purchases that I just put in this box. I thought it will be more intrigued if I will just keep them over there. You can't see them so it's more like opening presents. So the first pair of package that I have over here is from Good Molecules. I really like how Good Molecules are doing their PR packages. They're very interesting and they're just an experience of opening them. And yes, they never tested on animals. So over here we have a card, it says ingredient games. And it says over here that sometimes brands are playing ingredient games and they mislead customers. For example, they said that there is ingredient that is included in this product, but it is actually below 1%. So what they're gonna be doing is that starting today, they're gonna be publishing nothing to hide ingredients list on a side of their boxes. And they are playing no marketing games. So over here we have a new product from them, which is Discoloration Correcting Serum. So it has 2% of ingredients that I'm not even going to try to pronounce, but it says it is advanced form of acid that works on deeper pathways to transform and improve the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. So let's take a look at the product, and this is the Good Molecules New Discoloration Correcting Serum. Over here on the back, we can see nothing to hide ingredient list. So you can see that we don't just have listed ingredients, but we also have percentage of ingredients like water 77%, glycerin 5% and other ingredients. And I also like that over here we have release notes. So it shows you what ingredients were replaced and some ingredients that actually were removed. On the back we can see that this serum can be used both AM and PM and it has pH balance 5.5. So let's open it up and take a look at the product. And this is how the serum looks like. You can see the bottle over here. So it has a syringe as usual. I cannot wait to test out and try out this new serum. Thank you so much to Good Molecules for sending this package my way. So next let's open another PR package. And this package is from OPV Beauty. So over here you can see that OPV Beauty sends their blending sponges. You can see just all of the gorgeous shades of them. And they also sent over their loose eyeshadow pigments. So they just released new shades. I believe they added their pastel collection. I actually will not be opening this right now because I don't want it to create a big mess because these are loose pigments. So what I'll be doing after I film this video, I'll be opening them all up and just putting them over here on a desk and filming that separately and just include a piece of that video over here so you can see all of the shades. So as promised, I'm going to show you each shade of new OPV Beauty Loose Eyeshadow Pigments. As you can see, they have very stunning packaging. So the caps of these pigments are rose gold. They look so beautiful. So let's start from this side. And the first shade that I have is Ice Blue. It is very gorgeous light blue pigment. I believe they just released their pastel collection. So this is all of the new shades from that collection. 
So the next shade that we have is 708, gorgeous light green pigment. Next one is peach, again beautiful color. So next one is lilac, again gorgeous pastel shade. Next one is flame, which is so confusing because I would expect something like orange or red, but nothing like this, and this shade is purple. Next is pink, I really like this shade. Next shade is red. Next one is mint, again very gorgeous shade, I really like this one. And we have two last ones, so next one is white, and last but not least is shade black. So this is all of the pigments that were sent to me from OPV Beauty. So over here I also have OPV Beauty new blending sponges, Flawless. So you can see that they have different gorgeous shades, so this one is turning from yellow to green. Next one is from grayish blue to red color. Next shade is one of my favorite, kind of looking like a flame. So we have yellow, orange and red on top. Another my favorite is from light pink to red. Next one is turning from white to blue and I believe I have some like purple or pink showing over there. And last one is black. So this is how the sponge looks without the packaging. You can see that it's more round on this side. You see like OPV Beauty logo over here, round at the bottom, and this side is actually flat. They also feel really soft, and I like how you have this flat side. It will be so perfect to just take that setting powder and apply it under your eyes and also to your cheeks for baking. I cannot wait to test out the sponges. They look amazing. They're also very beautiful and they definitely feel very soft. So these sponges you probably will see in some of my next makeup tutorials because my sponges are actually running low. I'm very close to that time where I need to replace them and I'm so happy that now I have all of these stunning sponges that I'll be able to use in my makeup tutorials. So I also wanted to show you black one OPV Beauty sponge because it looks differently. You can see that on both sides it's actually flat and over here it's more elongated and kind of like more sleek. These ones are more round, when this you can see is more sleek. So I believe this will be so awesome to use under that under eyes because it will be so perfect to get into that inner corner. You can see these ones are more like round. And also we have two more sides that will be perfect to apply that powder under my eyes and also for baking. So I cannot wait to test them out and try them out. Thank you so much OPV Beauty for sending all of these gorgeous products for me to review. And now let's move to my drugstore purchases. And the first product that I have is Nivea Refreshing Cleansing Gel. So this one is for normal skin. It deeply cleanses and also has vitamin E and Hydra IQ. So I really like this cleanser. It is very affordable, but most of all, it is gel formula that when you add water, it turns into that foam texture and it also leaves my skin sparkling clean it has that fresh scent and I just absolutely love it I actually repurchased this product many many times I probably got through several of these I absolutely love it and will probably continue to repurchase so the next product that I have over here is also from Nivea and this one is express eye makeup remover it has 125 milliliters and it says that it is effectively removes even waterproof makeup and mascara so this is also a repurchase I gone through several bottles of this. If you have never tried it, I highly recommend. As you can see, it has two components, so you need to shake it up to activate formula. After that, I just take a cotton pad and I just apply a little bit on it and remove my mascara and my eye makeup. And this is the first step that I usually take when I remove my makeup at night. And then up to that, I'm using this cleansing gel and just remove the rest of my makeup. So this is my favorite drugstore options when it comes to removing your makeup. So next product is also repurchased as well as my must have. So this one is by L'Oreal and it is Magic Root Cover Up. So this one is Instant Root Concealer Spray and I got myself shade Dark Brown. Actually, I just finished the previous one and I also was using shade Black, but recently I started coloring my hair in Dark Brown shade, so that's why I also decided to change a shade. So this is absolute must-have if you dye your hair and 
If your roots are already showing, you just spray it to your roots and instantly it covers them up so you're ready to go. I really like to use it especially when I film in my videos, so I don't want to color my hair and usually already after like a week you can see those roots. So I can just spray it a little bit to my roots and I'm ready to go. And I don't need to color my entire hair. So this is very useful and so handy, I absolutely love it. And if you have never tried it, I highly recommend. So we finished with all of the essentials, my absolute must-have drugstore backups. And now we're moving into something very exciting. And what I got is five shades of Maybelline Lifter Glosses. So first of all, let's take a look at the packaging and it looks absolutely stunning. It gives me that high-end makeup vibes. And you can see that these lip glosses also have hyaluronic acid in them. So each of them has 5.4 milliliters. So I got myself five shades. This is the shade that I would normally wear. There is more shades available. So the rest of the shades were more like brown and I don't really like how brown shades looks on my lips. So one of the shades was completely sold out and I couldn't find it in any stores in my area. So now let's talk about all of the shades that I have over here. And the first shade that I have over here is kind of like white, but it has gorgeous multicolor shimmers in it. And this shade is number one and it is pearl. So next shade is number two eyes. And you can see over here that it's kind of like a light pink and also has a beautiful kind of like iridescent, more darker pink shade in it. By the way, let's open them up so we can see how the doll fit applicator looks like. I would say that it's kind of like big, so it should be easy to apply to my lips. Let's just smell it. Oh my god, it smells so yummy. It just smells like candies and you just want to eat it up. I really love this smell. So when I'm trying to close the lid, it kind of like push it out. So you need to be careful with that. So now let's move to the next shade. And the next shade that I have over here is number three, Moon. So this is probably my most favorite shade. So it's kind of like that neutral pink shade with beautiful golden shimmers. Next shade is number five, Petal. So this shade is darker. And you can see again, gorgeous golden shimmers in this lip gloss. And last but not least is shade number six, Reef. So you can see there is no shimmers in this one and it's more kind of like a peachy color. So let me know if you will be interested in seeing swatches of all of these lifted glosses by Maybelline. I believe a lot of people were saying that they're dupes for Fenty Beauty. So if you want to see comparison, I also have a Fenty Beauty lip gloss so I can compare the formula, the look and also do the swatches both on my arm and also on my lips and share my review. So moving to the next package and it is from Morphe. And you can see over here that I have Morphe 2 products, which is super exciting. So let me take out everything from the packaging and show you up close. And don't forget that you can use my code GLAMFAM911. So this code is not affiliated, so I'm not getting any money. So this will get you $5 off of any one-time Morphe purchase of $10 or more at morphe.com. And on another side, you can see we have beautiful photos. So this is Charlie and Dixie. So this collection should be very playful, very youth-like, and also very kind of like neutral. I also noticed that over here it says this water base formula naturally separates, so give it a little shake. So over here I have five products. So let's start with this one. And this is Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint. So it's sheer to medium coverage, it is 30 milliliters, and over here it says it is lightweight, breathable formula, it is hydrate, smooth and blurs, and it's also vegan. So it says to shake it, start with one two drops and build it up to your desired level of coverage, apply using synthetic brush, sponge or your fingers. And by the way, I also want to point out it is made in Italy. How exciting is this? So the shades that I have over here, it's hint of beige, so it's light medium with neutral undertones. And this kind of the shades that I typically would wear. So let's open it up and take a closer look. So this is how the packaging looks like. You can see that the formula is very liquidy. So let's open it up. And you can see that we have syringe and this is how the shade looks like. By the way, I didn't shake it yet. 
So the next product that I have is Morphe 2 Glossified Lip Oil. So over here it says Shining Moment, pump your pout with Moringa, Jojoba and Coconut Oil for a shiny, super moisturized lips and sheer wash off color. And the shade that I have over here is Fairy Tale. You can see that it is a tube and it also has that very sheer lilac color. So let's open it up. So this is how the applicator looks like. I already have some oil coming out. When it comes to oils and also any skincare products, for me scent is very essential. So when it smells very pleasing, this is an extra bonus for me. So let's smell this one. Mm, it smells really good. It kind of like smells like vanilla. It has very light but sweet scent. So because I have this extra oil, let me just apply it over here to my hand. By the way, I just wipe it off with a napkin and there is no greasy and oily residue, which I like a lot. So next product that I have over here is Gloss Pop Face and Eye Gloss. So it says over here, gloss game on, apply this clear, never sticky gloss on a bare skin or over makeup for a fresh dewy look. Reapply as needed. So we don't have any shade name. So as you can see, again, we have a tube and this gloss is clear. And this is how the applicator looks like. So the next product that I have over here is Wonder Tint Cheek and Lip Mousse. And the shade that I have over here is Wish. So as I understand, you can use this one on cheeks as blush and also you can apply it on your lips. Over here it says this multitasking mousse gives you that perfect buildable wash of color on your cheeks and lips with just one swipe. So this is how the packaging looks like. You can see that it says Morphe 2 on top. And this is how the smooth looks like. And the last product that I have over here from Morphe 2 is Jelly Eye Shimmer. And I have shade Bright Idea. So we have the same looking packaging. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. I hope you can really see it. But the shade looks so stunning. I just love it a lot. Thank you so much to Morphe for sending over this amazing package. I cannot wait to test out and try out your Morphe 2 collection. I'm super excited. Let me know if you would like to see a separate video because we have everything that can be used for a full face of Morphe 2 products. So I have the last package and it's also from Morphe. So over here we have eyeshadow palette, lashes and brushes. Oh my God, I'm super excited. This is my absolute favorite products. So let's just dive in and take a closer look. So as usual, we have my discount code GLAMFAM911. And over here, you already can see gorgeous shades of eyeshadow palettes that I received. Oh my God, I'm super excited. So let's just dive in. And just look at these lashes. Oh my God, they're absolutely stunning. So this one is Morphe Premium Lashes. And the first style that I have over here is Glambassador. So you can see they're very spiky, they're very fluffy, and they're absolutely glamorous. So I have never tried or used Morphe lashes before, so I'm super excited, can't wait to test them out, but this is kind of my style of lashes that I usually would wear. And as you know, I'm obsessed with false eyelashes, and I feel like any look can be transformed if you just add those false lashes. And the second pair that I have over here is less spiky, so this I feel like more natural looking lashes for me, but again, this is the lashes that I would normally wear. They look absolutely beautiful. I love this style. And this lashes is in a style slayish. So I love both styles of these lashes. Cannot wait to test them out and try them out. They look absolutely beautiful. So next I have two brushes. So I'll just taking them out from the packaging so we can take a closer look. So this is how the first brush looks like up close. So this is brush number M441 and it is Pro Firm Blending Crease Brush. So here's how the second brush looks like. So this one is M165 and this one is Angle Liner Brow Brush. So I cannot wait to test out and try out these brushes. They look very amazing and the bristles are super soft. So I'm super excited to test them out. And last what I have over here is 35 Everyday Cheek Artisty Palette. So on the back it says 35 shades to wear on a daily. Take your look from daytime to date night with this palette of stylish stunners. So let's take it out from this packaging. And this is how the palette looks like. It's not something very beautiful on the packaging, but I bet it's stunning inside. So let's open it up. Oh my God. 
I just love this palette. It looks absolutely stunning. Just look at all of the shades. We have a bunch of neutrals. We also have some pink and some peach. We have some purples. So we have some green. Look at the stunning brown eyeshadows. And just look at this beautiful glitter over here in the center. And some shades are just absolutely gorgeous. I love this palette so much. Just from the first sign, I feel like there is so many looks that you can create with this palette and so many shades are so unique. So you can see like this kind of shade or like that one. It's so beautiful and so gorgeous. I also like this black with different beautiful shimmers. I feel like this palette can definitely be your everyday neutral palette. You can also turn it up and glam it up for a nighttime look. You can use it for so many different occasions. I feel like this is maybe one of my most favorite 35 pants palette. So let me know if you want to see a makeup tutorial using this palette because I feel it's absolutely stunning. Of course, I need to test out the eyeshadows and see how they perform, how is the pigment and how they will blend out. But just looking at this palette, it looks absolutely stunning. I feel the only negative thing that I can say that eyeshadow names are not written on a palette, they are on this insert. So this is kind of the only thing that I don't like. And also the price point of this palette is amazing. It costs only $24. And again, you can use my VIP code GLAMFAM911 and it will save you $5 of purchasing this palette. So it will cost you less than $20. It will be just like 19 Thank you so much, Morphe, for sending your amazing packaging. I feel so blessed for being part of your Glam Fam. I cannot wait to test out and try out all of the products that you sent my way. Thank you so much. So here's everything that I purchased or was sent to me in PR packages. I really hope that you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. Also let me know what other swatch videos or makeup tutorials you want to see next from using any of the products from my purchases or PR packages. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!